Hello, everybody. Um, I haven't been posting videos as much. Uh, life's been a little hectic lately, uh, in a good way, you know. I um, good things, you know. Uh, as you know, if you watched my uh, last couple videos, uh, I just had a newly born son, and things have been going great. Um, but today, a topic has come up, and I want to talk about merit. Merit. Earning jobs and positions based on merit. I've worked very hard in my life. Um, I have gone from being a, when I was 16, I was a janitor at a um, western amusement park. I had to dress like a cowboy and clean toilets. Yes, you heard that right. I had to dress like a cowboy. I had a fake gun that sprayed Windex, and, uh, and, you know, I had to clean, clean toilets. I've done everything from working, uh, doing that job to working in healthcare, actually. Uh, um, you know, I was working as a nursing tech for a long time. I then got a job at another company, uh, rebuilding um, irrigation pumps. Uh, I now own my own business doing that. And um, pretty soon uh, I got a buyout proposal uh, scheduled. I'll be, another company is going to be buying me out and I'm gonna be working for them um, um, as a higher up manager there. And um, all that, all that is going really well. and. My point is, is, I've earned all this. I've, I've never, you know, you know, I've accepted, you know, job offers that maybe I wasn't quite qualified for, but, um, you know, uh, I still worked my ass off to be able to do those things and become qualified for them. Um, focused my energy on education in those fields and. You know, I, I have, I feel as though I have earned everything uh, that I've gotten career-wise based on my merit. Uh, my wife, I, I don't know why she decided to marry me. I'm the luckiest man in the world. Um, I probably don't deserve her, but I'm happy I have her. Uh, I try to be a good husband, a good father, um, and I, I think I do very well at that. You know, I. Um, you know, I'm very blessed, but I'm blessed because of my own hard work. Um, you know, I've come a long way. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm not cocky, but I'm allowed to be, uh, you know, happy for myself and express that. So, anyway, so, ba go, so on the subject of merit, um, Joe Biden has announced, so... We're having a Supreme Court justice that's retiring, and after many years of service, and that's good, you know, God bless him and all that, you know. Uh, but Joe Biden has announced that he is dedicated to appointing a black female Supreme Court justice. It would be the first one, and I think that would be great. I, I really do. I think that would be great to, you know, throw a little more diversity into the Supreme Court and have a black female justice, something we've never had before. We've had African-American justices, we've had female justices, um, but we've never had a black African, or I'm sorry, a black female justice. However, I hope that it is a justice that deserves it based on merit. I Again, I think it would be great to have a black female justice, but I would hate for our, our, you know, I, I would hate for our, you know, for the integrity of the Supreme Court, for somebody to be chosen to this position solely based on the fact that they're a black and a female. Um, it's, you know... You go out, it's just like any other job. I mean, the Supreme Court's not like any other job, but 
based on every other job, you know, you have an opening, you seek out people who are qualified and are the best choice for that position. Um, and I would just, it just doesn't sit well with me that you determine, and to me it seems like pandering. To me it's pandering to women, it's pandering to black people, it's pandering to black female people. That you would choose what race, and it's illegal to do in any other job, to say, all right, you need to be black and a female in order to do this job. If, if anybody ever put out a job ad that said, you must be black, you must be female, everybody else disqualified, they open themselves up to quite uh, a legal controversy there, right? I mean, let's, uh, I mean, let's, let's be real here. So he sets his sights on, we have to have a black female. All right, now let's, you know, you know, let's look over candidates that match that description. Throw out everybody else. Maybe somebody else would, maybe a black there's a black man that would be a much better a much better candidate. Maybe there's a white woman who would be a much better candidate. You know, dare I say there might be a white male who's a better candidate? I I white males just get pushed to the side at this are just getting pushed to the side at this point anyway, so maybe maybe I can't say that. But so now you got to be a black female. And now let's go over credentials and rather than, you know, okay, let's do this based on merit. Let's list the qualifications and then we'll discuss your gender and your race and all that stuff later. I don't know. I just don't get it. Why, why is that set that, it, it was like when he chose a vice president, he was running as a vice president and he said, I'm going to choose a black woman as my vice president. And this was before he had announced it. it I don't know if he knew that it was going to be Kamala Harris or if, you know, it, or if he just said, we need a black female. All right, there's Kamala Harris. Let's pick her. But Kamala Harris is a terrible vice president. Absolutely horrible very uh, unelectable on her own. I don't think uh, if Joe Biden, uh, you know, ends up not finishing the term, I can't see Kamala Harris winning an election on her own. So, um, you know, I just, I don't get it. Why, why set that as the starting point when you're going to be appointing somebody to one of the most important positions not only in the country, but in the world, it's beyond me, you know? If, and I got nothing against a, a black female serving as a justice, if you go through all these candidates and all these, you know, and the best person for the job happens to be a black female, well, I think that would, that means more to the black and female community black female community if she earned that on merit and didn't just get handed that because of her race and her gender it just seems like pandering to me I feel like and I guess I won't know but my take on it is if I was a black female and that I feel like I would take some offense to that pandering. I don't like being pandered to. I don't think anybody does. So maybe some people do, but I don't know. My point is, is, you know, I hope, uh, I don't have much faith in Joe Biden, but I hope he makes a good selection and it's going to be a black female and that's okay with me. Um, I think that's great, but I hope that she actually has some merit and, you know, plans on doing right by our country and you know I and you know I hope she's a good pick whoever she is but 
I just think it's wrong to, you know, start race and gender and go from there. Um, it's too important of a position to just appoint somebody because of their race and gender. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think. I, um, I don't have much faith in Joe Biden, but, you know, maybe he'll surprise us and come up with a good selection. There's a lot of very intelligent black females out there, and I think that there's probably a, a, laundry, a long laundry list of qualified candidates that meet that that meet those requirements. Dare I call them requirements? Um, but you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I, I think it's a very, I think it's a a wrong starting point, but maybe it'll get us somewhere good. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think. All right. Thanks.